get myself together. Get gonna be yourself all right. together. Five o'clock in the morning. Where you going to be? Outside on the corner. You better get what kind yourself of song is together. It? Where you going to be? Get outside on the corner. Get yourself together. <laughs> but no pause. Just outside on the corner. I can guarantee that every single tell- person oh. watching this right now forgot about that song. Mm-hmm. You're now welcome. You, you're welcome. You didn't have yourself together. Now you can be out on the corner at five o'clock. Like, I mean, <laughs> you just go say it right away. You're not going to even like think of saying something else. Just. Where are you going to be? Outside on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> With such glee. Where are you going to be? Outside on the corner. I have no idea who even sang <laughs> that. Know. Who is that? Something about you better get yourself know. together. And I don't know anything get else Get yourself that. together. <laughs> we should have been bored a little bit earlier so that we could sing on oh these little God, tracks. We would have been. Ah! Listen, lose your love. Just come random. on, it's the thuggish ruggish bar. We gotta really Tasha. get we that. Come on, we could lazy. <laughs> come on with the deep vibrato. I could have done that. I, I don't give up about uh, Do you hear me? I let her know We're, you're from California, from the Midwest. I mean, we could have really this. been in all those I songs. Really. What? Wait, I wanna be safe. Come. I, miss, it, I, it, I, it, I, it, I miss my calling. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah, born yeah, yeah, yeah. a scotch too late because we were kind of <coughs> small and couldn't. That could have that could have totally been me. I got five on it. I got five, five on it. Messing with that and no <laughs> We missed it. My God. We did. Nate Dogg had a whole career. We oh could have been right. God. You know what I'm saying? It could have been like a when whole. We could have been I like Atlantic last Star. Night, baby. I a whole given, duet. I could have done the, the octave. When I met mm-hmm. you last night, baby. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Before I opened <laughs> up my gap. I, I it could have been all kind of oh extra God. background. Oh my God. God. My but, God. I mean, it could have just really. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> we could have really brought it home. And now you've taken it all back. <laughs> because I gave you all my... <laughs> we wouldn't say, yeah, we would just let him sing that part mm-hmm, and we would just come mm-hmm, on in. Mm-hmm. That would have, what? That would have been a bop. Mm-hmm, yeah. It ain't no fun if all your homies can have oh, had. The, we would have really corrected that oh, pitch God. so that we oh, can God. hit those ha, notes. Ha, Like really yeah, getting really that just in that because the they kind of like ah. Mm-mm. No, no. <laughs> Mm-mm. We want to hear. We want it. It's we want it crisp. We want it crisp. Do you hear? <laughs> <laughs> now, hi. You don't really no, want no, your no, homies no, no, to no, have no, none. Everyone, I want to really sharp. Yeah, you don't really want your homies right to there. have Let's none. Get, if you don't really. No, punch I want it. you to. I want you to really. I need you to go over the BC right now. You haven't even right. hit you the peak kind of, a, of the mountain. That's, that's it's pitch. like you're. You're that's on good your pitch way. Like it's there. on. You're on your way. Not like. No. No. We would have brought a different we element. We would have listened. Yeah. It would have crossed over and made, won Listen. some other awards. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Grammy. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. Uh, all kind. From, they wouldn't from, have been able from to the argue. the world it. over. I'm we missed it. You. We missed the calling. That's fine. <laughs> I guess we'll just be stuck with that joy. Because I <laughs> had never met a girl. <laughs> I mean, maybe we could do a remake. I'm not above that. Something has to do with joy. <laughs> if my homies don't have joy, joy. <laughs> you should have, have joy. <laughs> they're probably going to pull this, you know, this, they're going to pull it. This is the one, y'all. Come on. This we got to ask the them one. permission. Listen. <laughs> 
West Coast people costume, but you can't buy no Guess West Coast. Guess who's one. back in the mother mm's house? Come on. With some fat in joy, joy for your mother. Mm. Yes. Listen, <laughs> we're going to do it. Just let us. I, I think I think that would slay. Oh God! What? Let's do it. I mean, we could tell a whole story oh, when I met you okay. last night, baby. <laughs> Before you opened up your mouth, see, mm -hmm. see, see? see? Right? Before yeah. you opened up your mouth, mm -hmm. I had respect for you, man. Mm -hmm. But now I take now it you are bringing all me all back. down. You know what I'm saying? Because you gave me all your come all that plane. Come on. Yep. And, and you insulted me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, it's writing itself. I'm it's writing you. itself. Stay tuned. Stay and tuned. If you We've can't got... enjoy, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Just say that and get, get out, out the door. <laughs> That's good. If you ever wonder no. why we are best friends, it is because we entertain one another in this foolishness. I think we got something right here. Mm -hmm. why, why these people answering, but the other people not? Of course. Listen, the liberated, of course they rolled, they, listen, yes. they're a different breed. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm ready <laughs> to start. I'm ready. Yes, I am to start this podcast. I'm ready, baby. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> to start. <laughs> <laughs> There's always I'm that at ready. the end. <laughs> hey. To start. And then the hollering, hey, <laughs> I said I'm ready. Yeah. Come on and start. Oh. <laughs> it's got to, you got to get that back throat rasp. I'm ready. Ooh, I'm ready. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm leaving all of this in. Just don't stand up. <laughs> We're not wearing any pants. No pants <laughs> right now. We're like shirt tails. Uh, Remember <laughs> shirt tails? Shirt tails. Ooh. That's um duck tails. Mm -hmm. But goes the same way. Did you see Reese made same a shirt way. with a yes. duck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about oxtails. I, said, Ooh. Ooh. I want you to know I, I screamed. screamed. And I was like, why wouldn't people know that? What? The, the, the danger. <laughs> <Let's be. laughs> well, but do you remember shirt tails? They just walk around. It's like a raccoon, like different animals, and they all wore different shirts. I they didn't wear pants. <laughs> they did not wear pants. We're Smurfette up That's in here. Remember how Smurfette just had a shirt? Everybody else wore pants and no top. Smurfette was like, I'm not going out like that. I I'm thought that wear was a, little... a dress. Kind of, but it was short. On. It was short. She had on heels, though. Get it! She did have on heels. Come on, all of the little Smurf jamborees. Mm. Listen, they were climbing trees. She was like, I'm still going to have these heels on, okay? <laughs> all right. And this dress. This is what we're going to do. You're going to see all my And my business. hair is perfectly coiffed. Mm. Get it, Smurfins. Do what you do. Okay. Okay. Whenever <laughs> you're ready, because <laughs> I'm clearly there. <laughs> you're somewhere. I'm somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. We'll find a new way of living. See, she'll always pick it up. Somewhere. <laughs> Don't get me started on that. You're talking about babs. a singer. Do not Listen, get me started on that. She, oh, she just starts blowing. I get I'm it, sorry. Barbara. Ever, ever. Come on, Pitch. Opens her mouth and just lets all that lovely Baby, out. She'll, she'll give you the, the R&B right. hits. The black, black widow is sitting in the middle of the web. It's the flash she seeks. Uh, mm, mm. Listen, we could go on and on. Can we please? Could do a whole Barbara <laughs> Streisand. The duets? Okay, I'm, I'm done. Here we go. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say any duets. If you would just clap. 
There was a time we <laughs> that. Right. I think it's the same song. Y'all let us know. Is it a different song on the intro than it is on the outro? We really do have a show for you all today. I'm sorry. It took us so long to get started. We can edit and just start right then. They don't have to hear us talk about how we ain't got on no pants. I won't. <gasps> we don't have any pants. Body. <laughs> we don't, I don't have, have any, any pants on. <laughs> Body. <laughs> Body. Body. I hate it when she said that. <laughs> I'm gonna say your name like that from now on. <laughs> no, please don't. No? Oh God. Body. <laughs> well, I am Jacob Hill from Abbott Elementary. I applied to Morehouse. You got any cheese? <laughs> Steve Urkel. <laughs> you better know where Steve Urkel is from. You better know. Where Family it's matters. From, yes. In fact, I'm both of them. I'm Steve Urkel and Stefan. Ooh. You see it? Stefan Urkel. You see it? Stefan Urkel. <laughs> How you don't like him? <laughs> How you fall in love with him now that he just rubs his chin and speaks slow more slowly? Looks exactly <laughs> I mean, he's like the, the same. same dude. He rubs his chin and now, like, you're in love. I, I, I wouldn't I have messed with Lori after that. Mm. No, she, she, mm. she, she, you don't, if you don't like me as is, go ahead with you. That's security and confidence right there. Security. So, Come on. so that's why we chose these people. To, these are the people that are out here believing in themselves when no. Mm-hmm. Other people are like, that's crazy. And they're like, that's does. fine. Uh-huh. And they're at peace with it. Yep. Because we are at joy. Where life and joy equal satisfaction. satisfaction. Guaranteed. So we're in the season of security and confidence. I know we say this every season that I love the season, but oh my gosh, security and confidence is like, I mean, we said that about savoring and we said that about all the other ones. I know, I know, I know. But really, this is the building block right here. Yeah. You just, you just cannot have joy. It's mm-hmm. not, this is not a manifestation of joy. This is joy itself. Ooh, ooh. Right? Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all. Like, you, you, when you get joy, then you will savor, you'll be in awe. Mm. You have to have security and confidence to even it's get so to good. that place. Can't get there without it. Come on. What is it? Security and confidence is accepting and trusting oneself to accomplish tasks and goals. It is a positive, realistic view of the self, including all areas of strengths and improvement. Yes. So we are continuing with our motivational mantras in R&B and hip hop. So and yacht rock and, <laughs> and Barbara Streisand. <laughs> so this first one. <clears throat> Jump regardless of the consequence. Cause even on the night of the apocalypse, everybody's an optimist. That might be the one of the deepest things I've heard. Wait a second. I'm gonna say this again. What? Jump regardless of the consequence. Should it would it could it uh, oh my god. Jump. Jump. Jump! For my love. Jump it. <laughs> because even on the night of the apocalypse, everybody's <laughs> an optimist. Everybody is an optimist. You hear this? Do you hear that? Come on, because once once we all get down on the same plane, we all have something to be positive about. Why not? 
That is a quote from Tone Deaf on the song Optimus. From my Midwest fam here. <clears throat> I'd shoot for the moon, but I'm too busy gazing at stars. This can go either way. This could go either way, right? You can be thinking like, I'm so busy gazing at other people shine brightly, I didn't even shoot for the moon. Mm, mm, I'd shoot for the moon if I could stop just gazing at other people shine. Mm, ah! Or, or. <laughs> you could also interpret it as, I, I am so, I'm already amazed. I'm already taking in the stars. <laughs> the moon is just extra. It's, it's just a, listen. The moon is truffle salt. <laughs> I just say some truffle salt in this kitchen. I know we offer savoring and appreciation, but listen. That's, that truffle, truffle salt, salt will change, change your whole. Okay. Listen. Okay. Your whole meal has just listen, been elevated. It elevates it to, I, I promise you. I was like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, and then my mouth was like, yay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So gazing at stars shine bright like a diamond. diamond. That is from Eminem, mm -hmm. Detroit's fire. From his the song, song Night of Not Afraid. I'm not Afraid. First of all, just that. Not Afraid. Hmm. All right. This is one of my <laughs> favorites that I hadn't even considered like this until I typed it up. How far must you go to gain respect? Um, well, it's kind of simple. Just remain your own, or you'll be crazy sad and, and alone. alone. These, you know, when you say these lyrics all the time and you really don't think don't about that. What they're saying. How far must you go to gain respect? Um, um, well, it's um, kind of simple. simple. To gain respect, just remain your own. Or Oop. if you don't remain your own you authentic crazy self, sad and you'll alone. be crazy sad and alone. Come on, Q-tip, and check That's the That's so good. You know how lonely you are when you're pretending to be Ooh. someone else? It does not bring people to you. It brings, pe it brings people around you, but they're not actually engaged in who you, and you, who you are. So they're just, yeah, you. people are just surrounding you. If you've ever felt lonely in a crowd, you, you are in a house full of people in a whole relationship with somebody and felt so alone. Maybe you weren't showing up as your authentic self. They were so busy dealing with your persona, you didn't get the fed. If I could take this out, I'd drop it. <laughs> you didn't get fed from it. They're That's feeding so into the other you. That's but so good. You're still starving. You're thirsty. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's a good word. That's a good word. All right. What's the final one? All right. Put me anywhere. Anywhere. On God's green earth, I'll triple my worth. mf <laughs> Jay-Z and you don't know. The, the MF is important because it's very like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Like he's delivering it. Put me anywhere. Anywhere. Wherever I go, I will expand. I will elevate. Drop me I off. will get higher. Mm -hmm. I will rise wherever Triple. you lay me. I want you to think what? about If you said that to yourself in the mirror every ah! single day, ah! put me anywhere. It doesn't matter where I go. On God's where I go. green earth, I'll I can work at this job. I can be at this place right here. I can live in this house. I can drive this car. Put me. I don't have to wait to get something else. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't grow till I mm -mm. lock me under the jail. I'll Wherever I am, my worth. I'm going. I am going to exponentially increase. Put me in the grave. Ah, I'll triple I'll my try. worth. Worth. No matter where I am, my worth. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That thing is good to me. Well, I'm excited about this week's episode because if you struggle with low self-confidence, this, this one's, one's for, for you. you. <laughs> What's your t-shirt say? Boricua y bougie. Because <laughs> I am. Yeah, both things. I am both Boricua and, and I am bougie. bougie. <laughs> both things. Mine has a bunch of like stuff. It's like black. Mixed with shea butter, coconut <laughs> oil, self-love, intelligence, raw beauty, power, pride, respect, my ancestors' strength and spirit, grit, hustle, <laughs> but mainly black. Hmm. Ah! Mm -hmm. I don't have to be mixed with a whole bunch of stuff. Just being me. Okay? Is good enough. 
This is a good one today. That's a good one. These are important shirts because I do think we are talking about black and brown people who have historically um, struggled with self-confidence, right? Um, well, no, that's not true. Historically Other have people. been made to yes. feel right um, lesser than and then trying to build a sense of self in Other people have struggled an environment. with our confidence. Right, there we go. Yes. Um, and then trying to you know build a, build a sense of self in, a, in an environment that tries to thwart um, that sense. Mm -hmm. And so we are wearing um, shirts today to show that we are proud um, of who we are. Yes. So um, I came across this quote from Dana Michelle. Hi, Dana. We love you. Hi. Um, Dana is our Spellman sister, mm. and I saw this on her page, and I was like, I must, I <coughs> must include this. It says, you might fail. You might fall. Get back up. That is all. So simple, so profound. So simple yet so profound. And that's what we're talking Get about today. Up. We fall down. <laughs> but we, we get up. <laughs> Cause a sinner's all Savior's Savior, just Savior, a sinner sinner who fell down. And got it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. A savior's just a sinner who fell down and Ain't got no difference. up. Ain't Any no person difference. you're out here admiring and you're like, but they are so much better. You know, the only difference between them and you is they're looking forward. No difference. So here's the thing that we, um, we tend to do. Like, we, you know... A lack of confidence can almost paralyze us. Mm. It gets us to a place where we can't move. And we talked about this last week a little bit, how you you want so badly to not fail mm -hmm. that you don't even try. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. We're done with that. Mm -mm. The only way that you can have confidence is if you tried. Because once you try, you got you'll to start jump. to see all of the things that you actually can do. Remember we talked about we can do hard things. So we're going to talk about it this we week. We really can. We I really mean, can. We really can. So today's episode is titled Faith It Till You Make It. I love it. Not fake it. Not fake, Not fake it. Because no, no, that's something different, right? Faith, believe it till it is so. Believe it. Because it is. Just believe it. You know when old folks say stuff like, it's already done? We always, you know, we mm -hmm. repeat that not really mm -hmm. knowing what that means. No, they're really serious when they say that. It's already done. Um, it's done. Until We're just, it manifests. Yeah. Just believe in it. We're just waiting to see the fullness of it on this side. It's already been done, though. It's already been done. It's already been written. Yeah. It's already in the cards. Right. It's already in the stars. So how do we faith it until we make it? Okay. We start by asking ourselves, what did I find anxiety provoking at first, but now is relatively easy? Think how many things you do that just it's old hat to you. You thought you would never ride a bike, drive a car, stay married to a joker, whatever it is. They look at you doing it. And you're doing it. Look at you doing it. Hold a career, pay bills on time, whatever it is you that feel it feel. Think about the things that filled us with anxiety. We we starting had businesses, complete anxiety around Ad Joy, complete uh -huh. anxiety about starting uh -huh. our podcast and our YouTube Absolutely. channel. We had no idea, mm -mm. and we didn't I had know already built a business and still was terrified. <laughs> no earthly clue. Yeah, and yeah. look at us. And here we go. But like, think about how many things are like that. The first, you know, cooking, Re you know, really in small ways. Think about that. And then then let your mind stretch out to the larger things. We really can do hard things, y'all. We, <laughs> we can do hard things. We lack self-confidence sometimes when we are embarking upon challenges that are new to us. They're unfamiliar or they seem like they're hard. And sometimes they're not even hard. New means hard. That's it. Like a lot of times it's not even hard. It's just new. That's it. <clears throat> it's just new. It's why people don't want to try technology and things. I, I don't want to do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> How I get on the uh -huh. Instagram. Yeah. It's a quote. 
from, from today. From me. So. <laughs> I work on Instagram. How I post a post <laughs> for the people to look at. Right? You can do it. All right? When we're starting something new, accept that. Know that that fear is going to come. Tell, that's fine. I'm fearful. I'm coming anyway. Come on, fear. Everything Tell fear to just get on point. in the back seat because you finna roll out. Everything was new. Everything is new. Every single thing. Every step you took. Look at children trying stuff all the every time. Every step you take. Every you make. Every, every move you make. You make every claim you stay. Every uh, smile you fake. Every <laughs> single day I'll, I'll be watching you. you. That's the okay. case. Yeah. Creepy as hell. So brainstorm this list of things, right? Come up with the things that you that used to just fill you with terror that now you just do regularly, mm-hmm. right? And and really think about that when you're in a good mood, <laughs> right? It's hard to recognize your successes when you're already feeling low about yourself. You need this list for when you're in the bad mood, so th- right? Think so when about you're in a good it. mood, <clears throat> think about it. If you're in a good mood right now, pause. Yep. You know what I'm saying? This is not live. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> pause. <laughs> And be like, right now, what are the things that I just, I just be I did handling. that. I, did, I never thought I'd be able to run my own board meeting, speak in public, teach a class from go. beginning to end, Here whatever those things were. And now you do it in your sleep. Yep. As parents, I joked about this last time. We just were focusing on keeping the baby alive. I mean, when you, when you have your first child, you'd be like, I just, can you, I just want you to live. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Now you just be all that you fine. You gonna go out. And not only am I good at keeping you alive, and I'm good at like they're keeping whole you successful yeah. entities you're, you're on like their own. You're like a whole own. separate su- successful being. Yep. Think about how anxiety ridden you were though, when you thought about bringing life into the world. Some of y'all on your fourth one, you won't have them at home. You're not gonna go to the hospital anymore. So I'm gonna have this baby real quick, and then we get back on Zoom in the back seat of the car. I got stuff to do. Shout out to Jaquita who had Vivian. <laughs> In, in the back seat of her car. Like on a sitcom? Oh, I swear to God. Vivian was born in the back seat of her car. Oh my God. Like on, on Fresh Prince of Bel Air and so many shows. <laughs> yep. That's dope. Mm-hmm. What a story. <laughs> Where were you born? In, like a Cadillac. In a car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think yes. I like it. Yes. All right. What else? What else can we do um, to faith it to we make it yes. out? Mm-mm-mm. Step faith back it. to gain faith perspective. It. Uh, you know, when we're in the middle of anything, it's very hard to clearly see our way mm-hmm. out of it. Mm-hmm. So uh, here's here's the thing. We will tell ourselves, I'm just I'm such a loser. Mm. Why did I why did I do that dumb thing? <laughs> right. If you already if you regularly take stock of the, the things you're good at. When that thought comes to your mind, you're like, get out of here. No, I'm mm-hmm. not. Mm-mm. I'm not a loser. Mm-mm. Because look at all of these I things. I have all of these other but that's, things. You have to prepare for this you almost. Have it, right? You have a stockpile. You've got to be ready for this so that when it hits you, you've already taken stock of the things that make you amazing because you've already mastered them. Mm-hmm. Yes. You also have to be very specific about why you're being hard on yourself mentally. Uh Uh-oh. So I want you to... That's going to take a minute now. Because we make the general statement of, I'm such a loser. Uh No, 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 no. What is it specifically that has you feeling this way right now? I'm sitting in the dark because I didn't pay my light bill. Uh Okay? That doesn't make you a loser, then you're able to reframe that and say, well, I made some other choices instead of paying my bill. I knew that this was going to come up and I chose this anyway. Mm -hmm. How do I keep myself from not choosing this again? Mm -hmm. Not being here sitting in the dark with a refrigerator full of moldy food. Mm -hmm. What do I do so that Mm -hmm. I don't have to feel like a loser again? Mm -hmm. But not, I'm just oh, I'm just the worst person in the world. I can't even pay my bills. No. No. This one time we did it. It might be the seventh time we did it. Even if it is another time. That doesn't trump all Mm -hmm. of the other things that you can say you did well. Everybody does. Yep. We said last week, dust yourself off and try again. Come do your little background. 
I like that. Be specific about about even why you're doing it. Like, why yeah. am I why am I being so cruel to myself in this moment? Mm-hmm. If you were being that way to another person, you'd ask. And everybody That's else would. Good. Everybody That's else good. could hear you. They'd be like, why? Why would you say that? If you that heard to your friend say, I'm such a loser. I went back to him after oh he gosh, hit me. Why are you saying no, okay, that? Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Mm-hmm. What are you beating yourself up? Because I can't believe that I chose him, sis. We've all chosen. We've all chosen wrong. And stayed too long. And the stayed bear. too long. Whether okay. it was a man, whether it let's was a job, dust whether it was off and let's just try let's again. Let's just try again. <laughs> and when you look at it like mm-hmm. that, then we don't stay in that state of mind where we tell ourselves that we're the loser. I like that. Because our confidence takes a hit when we when we destroy our character in light of our mistakes. Ooh. And what we sh- and, if, and if we're not careful, we might do it to other people too. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? Instead of just letting somebody yep. You know, that was a mistake yep. you made. That's not yep. you being ooh, a hateful that's, human. Ooh. That's not you being an awful person walking around. You're not the devil. You see this? It's it's an error. You were in a space where you did not make the wisest choice. It was I one will. moment in time. One moment in time. I haven't heard that in two When decades. I was less than I thought, thought I, I could be. be. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. Let me download this. <laughs> Cause I'm, you know, like certain songs you have not thought about a song. I sang that at my eighth grade graduation. (laughs) I sung that at someone else's eighth grade graduation. (laughs) My mom was a principal, so guess who was singing it all to Willard Middle School. (laughs) Listen, you finna sing these. You finna hear my daughter sing. Everybody's like, oh Lord, the principal daughter. She probably can't sing. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) (laughs) So what's next? Lord, I started getting into the song. Okay. Ask yourself, who am I comparing myself to? Mm-hmm. Really think about this. To whom are you comparing yourself? <laughs> when you say I'm not enough, says who? Compared mm-hmm. to who? Mm-hmm. I don't have enough money. I don't, mm-hmm. I'm not pretty mm-hmm. enough. Whatever mm-hmm. the thing is, who are you looking at that mm-hmm. you're saying exceed? What, what, mm-hmm. what? If you are comparing yourself to anyone, right, and and we suggest drop Not the comparison, even, right, 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 right. But at least let it be yourself, so you can measure yeah. your own growth. You, at least let it. Let me, at this age, let me, you know, compare myself to five years ago, so that you can like measure how far you've come. You are measuring yourself with your whatever your set of personal standards. You're measuring against somebody who's an entirely different set of personal standards. Because you know why? You are the prototype. Listen, they you broke the mold. We, remember we talked about that in Awe and Wonderment. The fact that, <laughs> that still blows our mind right now. These are my fingerprints. They are always going to be my fingerprints. There never has been and never will be another human. Humans have existed all these thousands of years. And I have a unique set. Who am I comparing myself to? And why? If Everyone's my, journey is if, still totally if my different. my fingertips were ordained to be my own, why wouldn't Yo, all these other soul, gifts? Soul, spirit, everything, gifts. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Joy. Everything. <laughs> That's not the thing to be your own. And the thing is, if we keep on coveting, right? If we keep on thinking about what another person has, we think we see them have joy having that thing. We'll get in and we won't have joy because it wasn't ooh, meant for us. Ooh. Ooh. We look at what that person has and we're like, that will bring me joy because we're looking at them have joy with it. You will get it and won't have joy because that's not for you. Because it wasn't your joy. That wasn't your joy. You got to create your own. Oh, have the security and confidence really say that. to believe in the joy that was meant for you. That's a word. That is a word. But that's a good question. Like literally ask it because when you say enough, that, that's, that's an incomplete sentence. I need to have more. So- says who? Right. Compared mm. to whom? Mm. Who, where, where am I getting, where's, where am I, me- where's my measuring stick? Who am I using to determine uh, that I have not reached the appropriate levels? I like it. Right? Consider that other people's accomplishments, just like your own, 
are interspersed with mistakes and mediocre results. Remember, you're just seeing the high moments. And with this social media, that's really what happens. Oh, my God. Don't, nobody posts. And I really take the compliment. I love when people are like, oh, nobody. And no can do it like <laughs> me. Nobody. I get compliments on like things that I've been like, oh, you travel a lot or you do such a great job with Zuri. I don't post when like I'm late getting Zuri to something, just running around. She's hiding from me because she don't want to get her hair washed. I mean, like I'm not posting that. She hides. <laughs> I mean, like I come, I have the shampoo bottle. She's like, ah! And she disappears in the house. I have to like find her. <laughs> These are things that are not posted on social media, folks. When you're looking None at other relationships, you're struggles. like, wow, everyone else is so happy in their relationships. And they might be. I'm not, you know, saying that, they, that they're not. I'm saying that nobody is going to post a picture of them and their husband fighting. Here's me in my, um, my room. And then here's that fool in his man cave. And I'm not talking to him hashtag don't do it like nobody's putting that on there <laughs> what you're going to see is matching pajamas in front of the fireplace <laughs> and you don't know that i just kicked him out last night he just got the key back, back over to the here house so we can take these pictures. this morning because i don't want people in our business don't touch me this is what legit <laughs> happened matter of fact we might not even be living under the same listen, roof right now we just gonna take these pictures listen. or they might be the thing is that we have to assume Things are, run hot and cold. All kinds of things. Anybody who looks crazy confident to you has been scared before. Absolutely. Absolutely. You would like die from never having fear. You have Absolutely. to be scared at some point. Ooh, you it's like literally not healthy. From never <laughs> having yeah. fear. If you have a natural kind of fear. You you died like about two or three years old. Everybody's been there. Everybody's been stared down by the enemy. Some disappear. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Bow well, down to the mighty. To the, um, don't run. Don't know that. Stop holding your tongue. <laughs> Maybe there's a way out of the cage where you're in. Maybe one of these days you can let the light in. Show me how big your brave is. Say what, what you want to say. <laughs> and let the words fall out. Honestly, I, I want to see you be brave. Sorry. I only know the chorus. <laughs> but that was awesome. That was awesome. Everybody, really, I love, I love that, that statement also, too, that there are mediocre moments. There are sad moments. There are mistakes interspersed in the lives of geniuses and the lives of, listen, Beyonce has moments that she looks in her oh, mirror God. and cries. Be, you We've know what I'm watched saying? them. We've She's seen. made documentaries yeah. where she does she wasn't that. Joking. She wasn't joking. That really yeah. happens to yeah. everybody. It happens to absolutely everybody. Mm -hmm. So when you are sitting there comparing yourself, like, dang, I want to have this and that and the other thing, just know it all comes with everything. <laughs> yep. I want to be so-and-so. Do you? Do you want everything that comes along with that person? Right. right. I don't know. Because there were low moments you couldn't. There were handled. low moments you couldn't, you don't even want it. You'd be yeah. like, never mind, let me just stick with what I got. That's that's good. <laughs> so um here's another thing. Recognize that feeling self-doubt doesn't mean you're off track. You're a human. You're not wrong. It's actually an evolved signaling system. When we feel self-doubt, that says to us, uh-oh, get back on track. Everything's not going the way that you wanted it to. Uh-oh, it's time for us to move and change some things. Otherwise, we would keep going in the direction we've been going. Mm. That was going to lead us to the ultimate failure. Giving up. Self-doubt gives you the confidence to, you know what? Okay. Mm -hmm. I did some things wrong. Mm -hmm. How do I undo this damage now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or how do I use this damage to propel me further? Mm -hmm. That's okay too. It's a balance we're looking for people. Yep. You know, we're not saying that, you know, we want people to become, you know, egomaniacs. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you know, I mean, it's a balance here. You you ask the questions, but really believe. I think really think I can do this. I, I'm not. I'm confidence doesn't mean I don't ask for wisdom. 
or I, that right, I don't, I right, don't right, right. make sure of some things and I don't check after myself and things like that. That's not what that, that means. Confidence means yeah. I believe I can do it. Yes. Self-doubt is uncomfortable, but it has its benefits mm-hmm. too. So, so keep that in mind. It prompts us so even let that to think mm-hmm. very carefully about what we're actually doing. Mm-hmm. The, you know, it's, it's whatever you call is your instinct. Mm-hmm. It's the feeling in your gut. All of that is self-doubt. Like, am I going in the right direction? Am mm-hmm. I, should I do this thing? Oh, no. It's keeping you on the path. Mm-hmm. Let it excite you. Yep. That means you're invested in it. Yeah. Because if you didn't have any self-doubt about it, you didn't care about whatever. That, Ooh, that, little, that little feeling means good. I care about it. I really want it to go well. That's good. Right? I'm invested in it. Know what you need to weather the storm and bounce back. I told the storm <laughs> to pass. <laughs> storm you can last. <laughs> go away. I command you to move today. Yes. I'm a heathen. I don't be knowing all them (laughs) songs. Listen, I have church in here tonight. Mm -hmm. But you, you know, you might be wondering, well, how do I know that? Because you've weathered many storms before. Ooh! You, you are, you're such a storm weather. There's like a whole bunch of rain slickers like hanging up in your closet. Go in there. (laughs) <laughs> right and recognize you'll put these things on to get through this you have battened down the hatches before look at all those galoshes <laughs> right you got sandbags down in the basement <laughs> you have weathered so many a That's storm so there are things that we you know that you really think to yourself i can't survive this you know a, a hmm. few episodes ago you know marty was saying like i i didn't know if, I, if something happened to my dad i don't know if i could just if i could even go on mm. and look at her going on mm. oh, it's hard weathered. but sure <laughs> sure but the storm is weathered mm-hmm. the storm has been weathered we didn't say not with impact <laughs> you know mm. the window could get broken but you weathered it mm. You weathered it, right? Mm-hmm. So you gotta you understand what what are you in need of when that happens, right? Are you in need of nurturing? I need some. I need someone to care. I need to feel comforted and considered in this moment. Am I in need of social strategies? Mm-hmm. I need to know how to leverage my network, right? Physical strategies, behavioral strategies. What do I need to get through this so I can let myself be great? So I can get out of my own way. Mm-hmm. What am I going to do to get out of my own way, right? Troubleshoot those self-sabotaging patterns. When you look back on it, don't, don't just say like, yeah, I talked myself out of that. Let's look at that. That's the kind of thing that we'll do, you know, in, in individual work too, right? Because yes. here, obviously on the podcast, we're like, look back over those things. Right. That's hard to do, right, without somebody taking you through, making a chart, you know what I mean? Yeah, what we do is make it a habit for you. With you and saying... Look at look at these patterns. Do you see that even this you identified this? I saw two more. Uh, right. <laughs> you didn't realize that and even doing this was do your yes. your way of self sabotage. That's what we do as joy coaches. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So um, as we always like to do, we like to give you a charge. We like to give you something that tells you what you should do. Right. Again, what she said is key, though. If you need us to hold you accountable to that, come get this. <laughs> you need that? We know how to give that to you. But in the meantime, we're trying to give you something. We hope that you're following along. But if you need a little bit of help, that's what we're here for. How to be more confident. How to be more confident. I feel like everything needs a little song. All right. Keep confidence quotes all in your space. Yeah. If yeah. you have to make little post-it notes, make little cute things, give yourself just a little pick-me-up, right? Right Jamila on your refrigerator. And went back in the 1900s would have post-it notes just plastered all over their walls of just all back kinds. The 1900s. the 1900s. They would get out of their stagecoach and just <laughs> try to make a fire, <laughs> and they would put a little inkwell in. <laughs> And write out these mm. little notes mm. on scrolls. Plastered. <laughs> I'm sure they still do it. Mm-hmm. I do yeah. it when I have something big coming up or like I'm I'm really going to You know something. who did this? Um, uh, I had it all over my um Nazaba's house. little sister, Danielle, as mm. she's preparing to defend her dissertation Real and good. all of that. She, I'm talking about she has um, 
her whole mirror in her bedroom mm -hmm. is just plastered with all of these things. I read them one day. I had to go over there when my when my pipes burst. I had to go take a shower <laughs> over there. And, and you were and enjoying I, her, her and I was just notes. Like, and I was like, oh, oh look at you. I, I, I was feeling like I could conquer anything after I read mm -hmm. just all of her mm -hmm. notes that she gave to herself. Can you imagine it? Can you imagine? Because coming home, you feel exhausted, and then just just a note that says you're a you're a star. You'll get up and you'll do whatever it yeah. is that you thought so you, you didn't have the amazing. energy for. Yep. I write. I wrote on on a mirror, like a hand mirror at home, and I keep it in a place where I can find it. That's um, good. It's, just, it's permanent, you know. So I'm I'm not wiping it off, and I just look at it from time to time, and that way I can I'm reading it and I can see myself. I like that. Like I I am reading these. Um, these confident statements and I'm looking at myself while, while doing it. That's oh. really good. All right. Keep a photograph of when you felt most confident and list out what got you there. Mm. Now hear me on this. This is not a photo of you when you were seven and you were a hundred pounds <laughs> <laughs> because then <sighs> metabolism had you at a hundred mm -hmm, pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a time you really worked to get there, right? Because this is what's important. I don't want you to look at the picture. I want you to be reminded of what got you to the picture. So you have to list out That's the good. things that you were doing. I was what waking up at five in the, the morning picture. and That's doing so Tybo good. every day. Mm -hmm. I was cooking every single day for myself. I was juicing with fresh vegetables and fruit. Whatever it was. Mm -hmm. So then you see, this wasn't something that you just stumbled upon. You put there was some, some work. There in was it. some work yeah. there. Yeah. And now that you see that work was done. Oh, I can do that work again. That's good. I did that work. I didn't tell you to put up a picture of Naomi Campbell. <laughs> and list how she got there. Yes, that's really good. But you're your you, vision board. You. You, you, you make a collage of yourself. <laughs> we should do that. I'm serious. A whole vision board of our own pictures. We're doing it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Done. Don't steal our ideas. You. Okay. Steal. Don't be, don't be taking our ideas. Just, just you can steal, do them and then you em. need to be like, hashtag. When you, you do it and you <laughs> post it online, don't be like, this was a great idea I had. No. Add, you add joy are now. Your, <laughs> you are your own vision board yeah. and list out mm -hmm. The things that you did to accomplish. Why, what was what was it about that's you right so there? Good. That's and, so good. And you know, good. it's that's so good because really, you're probably surprised yourself. It's not going to be the things you thought. It's going to be some things. I was just getting a lot of sleep because I was like, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> there's going to be some things you really didn't. You're, you're going to think like, was I just being, you know, a genius? Or, when you really nope. start to uncover that, thing I had decided say, I yeah. wasn't caring about what other people think. That, yes. Then I did this. That's going to be, that's going to be moving. That's Oh, that's good. Oh, that's right. good. We're going back to an older principle. You know, we love to weave our principles in. Build a confident mindset. Mm -hmm. Build a mindset of confidence. Tell yourself you can. Remember, we're talking about faith it until we make it today. Yeah. Right? So we're not faking it. We're not saying I can, but Lord knows I can't. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not, I can because I can. All of me isn't on board and doesn't completely believe it yet, but I've got faith. In me. I have faith in me. Right? Build a confident mindset. That is so good. Mm -hmm. Compare yourself kindly. Oh, so listen to this. Do that? I know that we are going to automatically look at her. Look at look at how mm, whatever. Fill in I the blank. Wish you, I mm -hmm. wish. For, okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of that, look at her. Look at all of these things she's accomplishing at the job. I could too if I would just put mm -hmm. some effort into this. Let me go what make a list I of the ways that I can do this mm -hmm. too. Just get right back into yourself. <laughs> That's <laughs> very different right from God, I'll never be where she is. Mm -hmm. You could if you'd put forth some effort. Mm -hmm. If that's what you really want. If you're really looking at a thing and you're saying, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to accomplish. That's where I want to be. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay, well then buckle up, buttercup. 
see yourself in the person. I yeah. think too. It's one of the things I'm. You know, I, this whole time, this this whole season, we're going to be talking about things that we are just proud of. All right, so mm-hmm. get ready. All mm-hmm. right, because we're just going to drop them. Mm-hmm. And one th- thing that I'm proud of is is teaching at Clark Atlanta and the number of students that see themselves in me. Mm. They don't see it as just like I, I mean I don't know. I mean some some like I just disappeared, waved a magic wand, and just kind of showed up with a PhD and started writing stuff. Right? I was you literally, mm-hmm. like literally sat here mm-hmm. in this zip code. You know, what I mean? like mm-hmm. I literally was you. If I can do these things, you can. So see that. Like that's a that's a kind comparison. Yeah. See yourself in a person that you yeah. admire. I like that. Yeah. Actively shake off your self doubt. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you, you have out. to no. <laughs> some, some. <laughs> out loud. <laughs> Sometimes you have to actually get out of my no. Mm-hmm. Nope. I'm not doing no. No. No, That's don't do true. it. Don't do it. You would do that to your friend. If I'm do if I was to say something like that, she would start yelling. Yep. Right. And she'd be like, ah, nope, nope, Kanika, no. Nope. We're not doing that. that. We're not doing that. Let's go. Just come on. Just come on right now. Last week. <laughs> I was like, Are we really gonna put these swimsuits on? We go. And let people you were like she was like, We sure are. I you came over, she was already in her swimsuit. I was like, well, see, I was going to try to talk you out of that. I know I thought mm-hmm. it was an idea, like I was being confident, but like we could wear something else. Mm-hmm. She was like, nope. We're going right there. Put your suit on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we're going to take a picture. <laughs> you have to do that, though, for yourself. For yes, you. get you a person who's going to ride and do it, too, and then also by yourself say, nope. Because when nobody is around, who do, you just who's waiting? Do it? You yeah. just waiting for somebody just talking who's yourself going to right out bring of you out of it? No, nope, no. You better do it right. Take safe risks. Risks are not going. You know, all risks aren't bad, right? Challenge to do something just beyond your comfort zone, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, you know, we've all seen um, like American Idol and shows like that, and we've thought to ourselves, um, pumpkin, y- you thought. Who who told you, you thought the Jew was gonna be at, okay? Take a safe risk. Go just <laughs> beyond. Not on national television. Right. Go just beyond where you thought you weren't going That's to go, mm-hmm. so that you can show yourself the water's warm here. It's not that deep. Because because you may not go all the way and accomplish the thing that you set out to do, but you went. Further mm-hmm. than where you were when and you that's just the stayed here, yeah, safe, yeah. That's and the accomplishment. that's the accomplishment. Uh, yeah, uh, I like. That. I hate running. I always bring that up too. Like I was like, people are like, once you get into it, you love it. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, but I did. You know, people were like, but at least just commit to one day, just doing like a five k. Mm. If and 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 my uh, my my client who actually um, she's amazing. I spent a lot of time building her up, but I can't believe it because she's so amazing. She has, um, if there's a word for people who run marathons on different continents. She has run all mm-hmm. seven continents. She organized a group of African-American people mm-hmm. to run a marathon on Antarctica. Mm-hmm. That's wild, right? So, um, but it started, she had to just like start moving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, all of that happened just because one day couch. she was like, I'm going to just run from here to there. Yeah. Yep. She was like, no, I promise you, I hate it running. I was like, no, you're one of those running people. She was like, do I look like I'm running running people? I'm about yeah. to get some macaroni and cheese right after this session. Yeah. She, And I know she did. She said, I just started one day. Just start one day. I like, just, just challenge yourself. Yep. Just get up and try the thing. Go just beyond where you feel safe. Yeah. Go just outside of that. Mm-hmm. That's how it begins. Know your talents and help them shine. You're good at something. Every single don't one you of dare us. say you're not. Every single one of us. There's no way that that fingerprint specificity, <laughs> right, is good. And then that's something great laying in each each person with these these separate set of unique fingerprints. Why? Mm-hmm. Why make it if it's not going to be? Something but know grand? your talents, right? Yeah. If if you are building a team right now to run the 5K, I'm not your person. 
Mm-hmm. However, if you need somebody to organize that and backwards plan mm-hmm. and make it so everybody's going to show up to make where they festive. need to be, make it festive. I'm get people there. Yeah, you know what I'm it's saying. Be fun. I have make a DJ, it look you know? up a particular way. <laughs> be a cheerleader. Know now that's what me. your strengths are and showcase them. But but you sometimes that means you got to volunteer for the thing. Mm-hmm. Not wait until somebody says. Could you sometimes you have to speak up and say, I know I, I remember once um there was there was some some training that um nobody on my team would touch. <laughs> Not a single person <laughs> would touch this training. And I said, <laughs> I announced to my team, I said, I oh, know I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna run this whole thing. I'll take it over. <laughs> I want you to know that I still have plaques at my at my cubicle thanking me for the job that I did well. I got emails. People were like, you know, I'm just so amazed at what they put on. And I was thinking this was going to be a disaster. You mm-hmm. never know until you just step out you there. You just, just have do to it. try it. And, and I'm going to go here. If it didn't work out well. <laughs> Well, I tried. And it became, and it got, and it was hilarious. And I did it. Right. Well, I know not to do that mm-hmm. again. Whatever. Now I've got some new knowledge. Yep. We were like two seconds into doing this business and we, <laughs> we entered this pitch competition. <laughs> I want you to know, I, I'm, I, thinking back on, I'm sure people were looking at us like, what? <laughs> No, no, no. Are I have to set this up right. We women. were literally two weeks into doing this. Why would they And I, on a whim, up? I said, I'm just going to apply to this at my church. It was filmed and everything. <laughs> you talk about woefully unprepared. Woefully! <laughs> you had like five minutes. In five minutes, we had barely introduced ourselves. Uh, uh, we didn't time anything. <laughs> we was like, no, Joy, y'all should be leaving Joy. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have not a thing. Okay, now we know though. I bet you we learned about making a pitch. Put, right me, in there. put me in a pitch competition tomorrow and I guarantee you I'd you. come out of that joker with now some money. Now we got you. But if we didn't do it, right. we would have never been exposed to it. If we right. said, we can't do this, we're not ready yet, it's only been two weeks, we wouldn't have gotten the knowledge. That's correct. That's correct. Now we're pitching this thing all over the place. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we mean with people like, As I know, a matter you, of fact, you know how you know all those famous people? I want you to pitch this to them. We, we, we are currently raising funds. And so don't worry, we'll, we'll put all of this. If, I, if you go people to that. saying that too. Like you better put if, your fundraising stuff up. If you go to the link tree, um, it, it, we've got a fundraiser going on. We're, we're looking to raise $15,000. I can tell you exactly what it's going to go for, but uh, just, just letting you know. So, so anyway, right. If you know about grants, we need to be applying for I'm, we need all, all the information. Do your homework. Lord, please don't show up for somebody's job interview. Mm. Don't get lazy when you're working on your confidence now. And you ain't checked to see what organization this uh-huh. is you showing up to to interview with. You don't know what the job is. Mm-hmm. You asking them, what you do at this job? Uh-uh. Even if the homework is, hey, um, friend, I have no idea what to do at this interview. Even if the homework is, get in touch with someone who has the wisdom you need. Even if you don't even know where to start your homework. I don't know how to apply for graduate school at all. Hey, do you think you can help? That's homework too. Yeah. The confidence you will have when you know you've done some of this legwork. Yep. I came with something. I came with some. And even, just roll even, up in here with nothing. even if you come with a little bit and then you say, you know what? I, I looked up who you all were as a company, but you know what? You've given me something to think Mm -hmm. on. Thank you for that. I'm Mm going to take this Mm -hmm. and write Mm -hmm. notes Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. that's fine because possibly the failure in getting this job sets you up. This is your homework for the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything is homework. Everything is. That's good. Everything is homework. Think of it that way. Every critique, every compliment, every everything. It's homework. It. I love that. Mm-hmm. And really importantly, um, 
this is the thing that I think can build your confidence. I mean, this Absolutely. this can skyrocket it, right? Absolutely. Dare to be the real you. The real you. And we're not talking about lacking tact, please. Right? We are talking about dare to really be your true self. Dare to openly like the things that you like. Dare to eat the food that you enjoy. Dare to laugh because you think it's funny. Dare to date someone that all your friends are like, ew, he's kind of whatever he is. <laughs> you like him like that. <laughs> His skin is green and his head <laughs> is bigger than the rest of his body. If the real you like it. If you like it. If you like it, I love it. That better be your man. Mm-hmm. Tell him hush. Mm-hmm. Right? Dare to be whatever that means. Right? Whatever the real you is is and that can be tricky because i do think you know we live in a society that tries to kind of put we had to pass a whole law to, that says we're allowed to wear our hair like this right. like a law had to get passed for black women to wear their hair the way it grows out of their head a law i just want to just right we had to like fight in court so that i could wear the hair that grows out of my head like that was not it's isn't just now becoming like you cannot discriminate against me because of how it grows out of my head. So we come up in a in a in a society that tells you not to be the real you. Mm-hmm. Take a risk. Mm-hmm. Take a risk and let people see you. The time as you're you spending all. considering whether they like it or not is time you're losing out on just being you. Listen. And that that is going to leave you at a detriment mm-hmm. greater than whatever other people are going to say when they find out who the real you is. That freedom of being yourself yeah. is the thing that really builds your confidence. Absolutely. Anytime people look at our, you know, like our personal social media pages, <laughs> we don't we don't delete pictures. We let them just stay up there. Because sometimes I'm cute and sometimes I'm not. I have posted so, some of the most random things mm-hmm. and it'll be the thing that a hundred people will like. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm eating food like this. Because <laughs> that's that's me. The real me is eating food. People are excited by who you The real me laughs loudly real, and yeah. with my mouth wide open. Mm-hmm. So I don't do I don't delete that. When people post pictures of me and I'm like, <laughs> that's that's the they should know that. They should know that that's how I that's how I look a good deal of the time. Yeah. So this was our faith it till you make it kit, right? That's a Think t-shirt. of all of the things. <laughs> that's, that's a that's a t-shirt. A t-shirt. And speaking Ain't of, to make I it by the ow, by ow, by ow, now, ow. if you go to shopadjoy.com, I promise you, we have some of the cutest. I'm not trying to be funny. I cannot it's tell you. Like it's not. It's not just like, oh, that's nice. You're talking about joy. I'm talking no, about it's cute. It's cute. No, like we're gonna wear it, and people are gonna be like, oh, <laughs> where'd no, you get that? It's really, really cute. So go and get you some. But this is um, this is what I want to leave you all with today. While you're waiting to become your best version of you, right? The faith it till you make it. We're just having faith in it's going to come. It's not here yet. But I know that it, at some point, fine. Let me give you this, this little nugget of advice. If you prayed for it, prepare for it. Yep. Because then it's going to come and you need because to be Because it's ready. coming. Don't get and ready. You, need to, you don't be pray ready. for a million dollars and then learn financial literacy. Mm-hmm. Learn it now while you broke. That's so good. Don't learn get it your now. Study skills you, you already in you college. Don't, you don't pray for the man, yeah. and then when you end the relationship, learn how to be a good steward of this <laughs> relationship. No, let's learn let's the keys let, Let's now. get it now. We can maintain when it got. You don't the pray for the child. You don't go to the altar every day and pray that God is going to bless you after five miscarriages with a child of your own, and then decide to get your money get together prepared. to buy clothes and food for the child. Come on, if you, you prayed prep for, it, for it, if you believed in faith for the thing. Prepare for it. Mm-hmm. 
It's coming. Believe it's coming. You won't even be able to get in if you don't have any room for it. How are you going to ask? My hands are completely full. I want I, I, I just, want somebody not, to give my head. me something. I'm, and I'm still I've got, holding. I refuse on. to release I what's refuse in to my put hands. This down. So I can't receive the blessings that I, I need get? open hands to get. Somebody That's wanted fine. to give me something else, but they were like, she looks so full. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> they wanted to give me the business. thing that I wanted, but they looked at me and said, you look so full. I, I didn't think you could take something else. Set the thing free and prepare for what you have faith in. Mm-hmm. We're going to faith it till we make mm-hmm. it. Okay. That's confidence. That, oof. That's how you move like a secure person. That, oof. I'm getting myself ready for the thing I know that I'm going to manifest. I'm getting myself ready for We're it. We're talking too good for y'all. I don't know. I don't know it's that you t-shirts. really appreciate the these, these, these messages <laughs> that we get. But if you do appreciate it, please click on the link tree and donate <laughs> some. <laughs> I'm not playing. Yes, Lord. Okay. Yes, Lord. Because we we want we want, I mean, again. This is my son. We're faithing it. <laughs> okay. Until we make it. We believe that the world deserves joy. We really want, we want a global message to go we out. Do. And if you've been watching this and thinking like, dang, people need to like hear this everywhere. We agree. Yes. And so to get that exposure, we, we are trying to that expand to this. We want to make sure that we can get a producer who is able to record and mm-hmm. edit and do all of the things that go with that side so that then we are able to go out into the world and share these messages because it's necessary. We can't go and do the coaching that we are meant to do and to make sure that you have this. But you all have said you can't live without it. So we got to keep producing it. Which means we can't we can't like work like dogs every day. <laughs> We got to pay somebody to produce it. <laughs> we can't work like so Head on over to that link tree and, and, and donate, okay? So we're going to head on into <laughs> our joy journal. <laughs> so you want to read the first one? Joy journal. Joy oh, journal. Do you oh wanna... we told you. Ha. Huh. You had an assignment. We we did have an assignment. We had a I mean, charge. we can do it every, you know, we can do it every we, time. We can but we told you all to give us the compliments that you had recently gotten. Mm-hmm. And you all shared them. We got a few of them. We've got a few of them. So the reason why we said that was because we, we want you to take, the, take those, those things that other people see in you. Take that out of the esoteric. Mm-hmm. Take that out of just their opinion. We want you to digest that as truth. Yeah. Because if other people are seeing it in you, right, there's that a truth. We want is. you to adopt it. We want you to believe it. Yeah. Right? Where are all my comments are not showing up. Dog on uh, Facebook. Okay. So, um, Ronnie C. Jr. I'm just reading the Facebook names. <laughs> I know they're real names. Um, well, but he said, first he said, you know, any compliment saying you remind me of your mom or dad means I'm doing something right. Um, and his, his, I mean, I don't tell his business, but his father passed away um, a couple of years ago. So anytime somebody says to him, he's saying, your father would be proud of you. Ooh. Ooh. He's like, Ooh, don't say that to me. I'm going to go, st- Ooh, I'm going to fall out. But I like what he says too, that he's, that he, then he says, it means I'm doing something right. He's taking what we're saying here. Right? Yeah. He's not saying, oh, my God, he was such a better man than me. I could, I could never. I yeah. pale in comparison to my father. He's saying I must be on the right track. He's accepting it. He's accepting that compliment. Yes. I love it. All right. Um, Rudrik. Wait, I have some. You have some. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just reading them off my page. Get it. Um, Anthony Black. What's up, twin? He said... <laughs> You look regal when you walk. He actually does walk like a he lion. He does. He does. He kind of walks like kind of on his toes it's a, it's and it a, has a glide. A, he mm-hmm. does. I like that. Somebody paid attention to, you know, to you enough to give you, you that compliment. You look regal when you walk. I love it. That's a good one. Yeah. And now I'll read Roderick. Okay. Roderick Walden. Orlando's finest. 
Um, I was told you're brilliant. Sounds simple and basic, but what made it extra special was that it came from an actual brilliant person who was also brutally honest. Say that again. Say that again. <laughs> I want to hear that again. I was told you're brilliant. Hmm. Sounds simple and basic, but what made it extra special was that it came from an actual brilliant person who was also brutally honest, which means he had to t- stop for a second and be like, you don't blow smoke. Because I might be brilliant. Imagine that the person <laughs> that you're admiring is admiring you. Mm-hmm. Y'all just sitting there admiring each other. I love it. <laughs> Librian Mitchell. He hey, is um, my um, he is my realtor. He is my mother's realtor. I send um, him to everyone who wants to purchase a house in Atlanta. He said that someone told him, "If I didn't know you." I would definitely want to. Oh, that's a good one. And if you know Librian, you I know what like a blessing that. it is to be in his presence. If I didn't know you, I I'd make it my to. business to change that immediately. That's, that's cute. <laughs> Listen, we better be confident out here. <laughs> Mia Edwards says the things that I'm doing um, are truly making a difference or an impact on other people's lives, and my mother would be proud of the person that I am today. Listen, when folks say that to you and they know your, your parents have, have gone on to glory, mm-hmm. that's not just whistling Dixie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You better be walking around here with your chest out. You got a whole ancestor that's proud of you. <laughs> my girl, Lami is the craziest person I know, hands down. She is one of my favorite people in the universe. We used to teach together. We, if if you were to watch the cameras and saw us in the hallways, it would look like we were never working. We had the highest scores <laughs> every year that we <laughs> um, that we assessed our children. Um, we absolutely fed off of one another. And <laughs> Lami said that her compliment, "You black AF." And that's her compliment. I'm going to tell you why. You have <laughs> never seen. You have never seen. You, black <laughs> you have <laughs> never seen someone as black as night and as beautiful. I, I, I'm going to post a picture of her on the socials. This one right here, <laughs> black <laughs> AF. And In all ways. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what In makes her ways. especially gorgeous. Lamy hit a hit a point. She was going through a divorce. She had three young children. She kind of felt like, what's going on in my life? Is my life over? She completely overhauled that thing. Lamy now goes to the gym every single morning. She works out fervently. Ooh, let me she see myself is, in Lamy. She is the finest version of herself. Mm. She is the most gorgeous woman on the outside and also will never allow anyone to be low in spirit around her. So she is proud of someone saying to her, you black AF. Uh-huh, I am, and I'm still All bad. All the way. All mm-hmm. the way. Thanks for noticing. Uh-huh. uh-huh. What? <laughs> Our Spellman sister, Tiombe, said, when people say how kind my son is, he is adorable. He is um, now going to school with my, with my daughter. He is so cute. Um, that is literally the word every teacher ha- um, he has had used. I feel like that is also a compliment to me because I work hard for him to be just that. Mm. When our children receive compliments, yeah. when people say something, you know, amazing about it, it is. Mm-hmm. I, I do, you know, I do take a minute. Um, my daughter got the, I have to send it to you, got the most, the, the nicest letter. It was her first day at camp. I said her first day. Mm-hmm. This teacher went on and on. There's never been a camper who just, I, I was like, she, you've known her for like five hours. But I was like, wow, what an impact. I'm proud of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I receive that she's out in the world, you know what I mean? Just being awesome. Yeah. And finally, my girl Candace, she, um, Candace and I went to high school together. We both moved to Atlanta. She has since moved home because she's had some some trials and tribulations that um, required that she go home and kind of be near family and stuff. But 
<laughs> Through all of that, for her to get this as a compliment, I think is lovely. You're kind. With everything you're going through. You're kind. With all of the things that mm -hmm. have all, all of these terrible situations that you wouldn't wish on anybody, you've gone through them and still you're kind. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. So. They're thank not you compliments, for they're us. truths. We're going to, we're changing Ooh. what we're saying. Well, they, are, they are declarations. Ooh. Get ready for it. And I want you to bombard the socials with all of the compliments yep. and Anything truths. Anything anybody's ever said that to you. You've heard. Because these are the things we're building. Remember, you're building, you know, your 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 arsenal against these negative thoughts and the things that I threaten to minimize your confidence. Great job. You're gonna be awesome. Cause you already awesome. Okay, here's the outgoing music. Yeah. Did it do? Totally different. <laughs> That's totally different. I mean, you didn't hear it. <laughs> we represent the lollipopli, the lollipopli, the lollipopli. That's what we look like. <laughs> So don't read any of these other ones from the Please other don't page. read the other ones, the X-rated ones. Cause this some, I got some good ones. <laughs> hey, Joy Johns. If you want to keep laughing and singing with us, then join us at Add Joy. That's right. We are no longer the Joy RX. We are Add Joy, where life plus joy equals satisfaction. We continue to be your resident joyologists, but we have a new name and new social media handles. So please check us out at Add Joy on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And Add Joy now on Twitter, IG, and TikTok. You can catch this podcast Wednesdays at 7 a.m. on your favorite podcast outlet at Add Joy. Please continue to send your Joy Journal entries to info at addjoy.me. If you want to continue accessing stories, charges, and shares to add joy to your everyday life, like, rate, subscribe, and share. You need a song or something about oysters and tacos. If you like oysters and tacos. Dun, dun, dun. If you like Marty and Kay. Dun, dun, <laughs> dun. We used to be Joy uh, Rex. Mm, mm, mm. But we are at Joy today. <laughs> <laughs> if you look for us at midnight. <laughs> Wait till 7 a.m. <laughs> we got new socials and websites. Joy, John, tell, tell a friend. friend. Stop. <laughs> She's in my head. <laughs> <laughs>